I do want to fix this by enforcing the user to log in when actually checking out. So right now where I'm not logged in, if I click checkout, I want to be redirected to the sign in page instead of the checkout page. But I also want to remember that the user wants to go to the checkout page to redirect him to the checkout page after successfully logging in to provide a better user experience. If the user wanted to log in through the drop down here though, I don't want to redirect to the checkout page afterwards because the user never wanted to go there, right? I only want to do it if we were on our way to the checkout, like so. So that requires a couple of things which need to be changed. And let's start right now. The first thing is that I want to protect my get checkout and my post checkout routes. If we have a look at the user chairs file, so at the user routes, we got this is logged in function here, which we can use as kind of a middleware attached to our routes to check if the user is logged in and to prevent access if the user is not. So I'm copying this function to my, well, index.js file. And of course you could also refactor this into a separate file or something like that. And then I'm using this is locked in here on the post route so that we're preventing any, well, fishy things going on. And most importantly to the get route, which would be triggered if we click the checkout button. So here I then want to redirect to, let's say user sign in in this case here. And if I then reload this page, well, nothing happens. If I restart the server and then reload this page, you see we're redirected to user sign in. So now if I click this checkout button, I'm going to sign in. We're almost there, but remember, I also want to keep the original route in mind. So back to my is locked in function here. I want to add something for the case that we are not logged in so that we are redirected to the user sign in page. In this case, I want to store something in my session. I want to add, let's say a new field named old URL, which I want to set equal to the URL the user tried to access. Like this, I can access the URL on my request object with the URL field or the URL property here. With that, I'm storing the old URL and I will use this later on when we actually do sign in. So that's the next step in the sign in route here in the user.js file. Here, when I sign in in this post sign in route, I will change the code a little bit. Currently, I do have my redirects here, success redirect and failure redirect. Well, failure redirect and failure flash are fine as they are but I will delete the success redirect and instead add a third parameter to this function, to this post function here. This will be a normal middleware function as you know it from all other routes, which will be executed whenever this middleware, this passport middleware here is passed successfully. So if we fail to authenticate, we will not reach this third function then instead we will go well wherever this failure redirect leads us. However, if we are successful, then we will continue to this third parameter here, to this function here. And in this function, I can then do whatever I want to do in the case of a successful login attempt. Well, what do I want to do here? Well, I want to check if I stored an old URL in my session. So I will check if old URL is present. If this is the case, then I want to redirect to this old URL. And I can do this like this using the redirect method. And since I'm not returning here, I can also execute code after that. And here I simply want to set old URL in my session to null, to clear it, because I don't want to store the old URL here, because I don't want to redirect the user to the checkout page forever. I only want to do that if he wanted to go there in the first place, but not if he was just logging in through the dropdown, for example. I'll also set up an else case where we don't have a old URL set. Again, that would be the case if we're not coming from the checkout process. In this case, I simply want to redirect the user to the user profile page. 
I'm copying all that code here, this whole function indeed, to the post signup method, where I want the exact same behavior. So if we are signed up successfully, I don't want to redirect here in the passport middleware. Instead, I want to execute this third function here or this third parameter, where I do the same thing as in the login case. Now, why do I add it here too? Well, for the simple reason that maybe our user hasn't signed up yet. So we're presenting the sign in view, but we also want to redirect him once he's signing up. Now to make signing up a bit more convenient, since we only show the sign in page, it would be nice to have a link at the bottom, which says something like don't have an account, sign up instead to make this process as smooth as possible. So I'll go to the user views to the sign in view and below my form, I'll then add a new text, a new paragraph where I say, don't have an account, whoops, like this. And then just a link which says, sign up instead. Now in this link here, of course, I want to link to slash user slash sign up like that. Now here in my user routes, there is one problem though. If we have a look at this setup, we're setting old URL to null after redirecting. And whilst this code will get executed, we will have a problem because our request will not be as accessible as it is before redirecting. So I need to execute this code before, well, issuing my redirect. Though here, of course, I'm then setting this to null before using it. So that would give me an error too, or would not lead to the desired result. So actually I will first simply extract my old URL, store it in a new variable, and then use this variable here like this. Now I can copy this code, also use it here in the sign in route. And with that, I'll make sure that I'm always able to retrieve the old URL, then clear it and then redirect. So with that, if I go back to the application, let's say I add another element here and then I click on check out. I'm going to the sign up page. Let's create a new user here like this. I hope this email address isn't taken yet. Click on sign up and we're going to the checkout page, which is what I want. However, if I log out and then log in again with that email address again, let's say then I'm going to the user profile. So I'm not going to the checkout page then, which is exactly the behavior I want. I only want to go there if I was on the way to it anyways. Now that I'm already signed in, I can go to checkout, enter my data here and make my purchase as you saw before. So let's finally do this too. Enter all that dummy data here, enter some dummy data down here. Whoops, that is an invalid CVC code. So with that, it should work. Make the charge, this clear to shopping cart. And if we again have a look at all our orders, you see we got a new order added. This is certainly more as before. And well, with that, we're forcing the user to log in. We're providing a clean process for all of that. And we're storing the order in the database. The missing piece, of course, is that it would be nice to, well, show the user his orders if he goes to his profile page here. So that's something I'll work on next.